Zack, can we... We need to talk. Alone. Sure. What's going on? I want to keep investigating. Remember what we found in the archives? The secret military shit and Eos Cosma? Yeah. So how do you want to do this? We gotta find a way to get into the military archives in Ophir and steal some files. We don't even know where these files are, Amelia. But maybe I know someone who could point us in the right direction. Eliza Major, my former captain, and have access to all of them. Ask her to read them and tell us what the hell's in there then. After that, we just gotta get back to the rover and make trails for Eos Kazma. That road must have been taken dozens of times, Amelia. If your father was there, we'd have found him by now. That's not true, Zack. Nobody takes that road anymore. Not with the shadow paths. There's no reason to take the rovers that way since the area has already been mapped out. All he wanted was to find that kid. We should take that road, Zack. Please. Sure. If that's what you want to try. You know it's been a long time, though, Amelia. The odds of us ever finding him alive... They don't exist, Zack. He's dead. I know that. Honestly, I just want to know why. Captain, good to see you. I really need some information about Scott Seeker's son. Like, what happened to him after he got arrested? You know how monitored we are, Zachariah? What do you want? I go poking around, we could find ourselves fired. Or worse, for a mutant? Whatever we find isn't gonna bother anyone today, but it could bring some peace to the people who never stopped loving or wondering what happened to the boy. 
The more I learn about it, the more complicated it gets. I'm just trying to bring some peace, Captain. Just look into some dusty files. No one's gonna care. All right. Hope you're right, Zachariah. We'll dig into the archives, but it'll take some time. Tomorrow would be the earliest. Tomorrow it is. Thank you. I'll come back then. Captain, good to see you. So what did you learn? Strange things. Scott Seeker was, apparently, much more respected back in the day. He even managed to convince the army at one point that he could heal and trigger mutation. The idea of triggering mutations apparently really got some interest, and the army launched a new division and put him in charge. He even brought him a few mutants to run tests on, one of which was his son. It obviously never went anywhere. Nobody got healed. The program was shut down, and the mutants, including his son, were terminated. So sad. Almost makes you want to look at the old man differently. Yeah, sure does. Thank you, Captain. Truly heartbreaking. Scott thought he could defeat nature. Even when his intentions were good, his son paid the price. He did his best to save him and still lost everything. He didn't even know there was a place where mutants live free. If he tried working towards acceptance rather than playing dice with fate, his son would still be alive. Open to find there, Amelia. I don't know, debris, tracks, just something to help me understand how a top reacher like my dad could get lost on Eos Chasma, one of the easiest fucking roads on the planet. My guess, he got into an accident, something he couldn't avoid. It's happened to us after all. Maybe. I just want to find out. That's all I'm asking. I don't. I fear I may be getting sick. Sorry, Scott. I understand that looking for the remains of your best friend is probably painful, but Amelia deserves answers. Sometimes the past just gives us answers we were afraid to know. I just hope that won't be the case this time. Even if we find the rover wreck, it'd be easy pickings for a passing scavenger or thief. So there might not be much left. What the fuck you say that for? 
Sorry, I just don't want you to get your hopes up. Whoa, Amelia, ease up. I know you want answers, but it's probably best not to crash while looking for a crash site. You kidding me? I wonder what you'd say if we actually went fast. I guess everyone's version of moderate is different. In your father's rover, do you believe you'll be able to find clues explaining what happened? And that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> Looks like we found a tablet, and it still works. Scott, I don't know if you'll ever get this message. It doesn't really matter now, I guess. Of my own piece, I, I just need to... So many things I wish I could tell you. My last thoughts and breaths are filled with regrets. I can't even blame you for sabotaging my rover. I was supposed to be your friend. I, I was supposed to be there for you. I was supposed to try to empathize with all the hurt and fear you were going through. But all I can bring myself to care about is making you stop obsessing about your son. Make you go back to being your old self for my own benefit. To have my old friend back. It was selfish. I was selfish. Even from the outset. The only reason I ever helped was just to help bring an end to the obsessing. And in the end, my own obsession with that goal led me to take away your son so you would stop. I wanted to take him so far away that you'd have no recourse but to give up hope. But you figured me out. You stopped me, and now I'm paying for it. I'm so thirsty. The rover is becoming unbearably hot. Unbearably hot. Forgive me, my friend, as I forgive you. Tell my daughter I'm sorry for not being courageous enough to keep her by my side. I should have fought for her. Stopped her from being taken away from me. Between the two of us, you were always the better father. Good to your boy. And here I am. Sit. Never mind. Farewell, Scott. Take good care of Amelia for me, my friend. I can't even... He was here the whole time? Not even that far from Ophir! If I ever find out who sabotaged his rover, who's responsible for him dying? You find something? Yeah, I found this. There's a message on it, Amelia. One you're not gonna be happy to hear. Whatever it is, it's better than not knowing the truth. Give it. Scott, I don't know if you're gonna get this message. I can't even blame you for sabotaging. I was supposed to be there for you. I was supposed to try to empathize with all of you. The only reason I ever helped was just to help that bring an end to, to the obsessing. So far and in the end, that you tell my daughter I'm sorry for not being up courageous up. enough to keep her by my side. I should have taken good care of me. Where is he? I found my father's rover and a tablet he left. You... You're a fucking murderer! And to think I called you a friend all these years! What... what are you... what tablet? What... You're gonna pay for his death. I promise I'm gonna make you pay! Zack, I know I'm a lot to deal with. I got a shit poor temper and I talk like a sewer, but I gotta say, I just... No one's ever done anything for me. And you, you've gone out of your way to... I just never met a guy like you. Shit. It sucks being on the road with no privacy. If we did, it'd make you shoot more than a little electricity. That too forward? I'm no lady, Zack, but... If you ever want to meet up without the others around. 
Maybe not like a lady I've ever known, but I like you how you are. Sure. Next time we get a break, let's do it. I'll pay a little visit to your room then. Oh, the things I'm gonna do to you. I'm sorry, Emilio. Leave me alone. This is what I feared. It is better to let the dead rest. So, you guys don't think it's kind of toasty? Amelia, look at me. You have to move on. You cannot change the past. All we can do is make the best of the time we have. Shut up! Can I come in? Come here. I may not be the perfect girl, Zack, but I think we make a kick-ass team. And I want to stay together. I can't believe I'm saying this, but... I think I love you. We're together for the long haul, so you're stuck with me, kid. Amelia, I love you. <laughs> 